Hey guys, what's up? Check out my uh, new work bag laptop. It's not brand new, it's new to me, but it's actually used. Uh, bought it for uh, 200 bucks on uh, eBay, and it's a Dell Latitude uh, 33, what's it, a 40? And let me show you some of the features of this thing, but it, it's considered an educational laptop, so it's kind of uh, extra rugged. And um, came with this power adapter here, but it's uh, this is a 45 watt power adapter, and it should have come with a 65 watt adapter. So that's probably not the best. Um, turn that light off. Too much light. Um, so um, yeah, this is considered an educational laptop, and they say it's extra rugged and it's sort of like rubberized around the edges here. And um, hope you guys can see that. Uh, so this is, would be going to my IT work bag, and I need a, a laptop to uh, program routers, switches, firewalls, troubleshoot networks. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I'm an IT guy, so... I mean, I'm on site all day long troubleshooting network equipment, selling routers for banks and other companies. So, um, yeah, lots of times I can't show you what I'm doing because I have non-disclosure agreements, so I can't show you, you a customer's rack with a bunch of routers and stuff in it, so... I don't usually show you very many on-site videos. I have a few on there, but um, one of the things I did notice is that this battery, um, something wrong with it. It's not charging. It, it shows it's there, but it, it's not charging. And it's, I think in shipping, this thing got kind of messed up. So I might, might or might not complain. I might take this apart in another video and fix it, or see if I can fix it. You know, re-solder, whatever's willing in there, but. Uh, but it does actually hold a charge, just that it just won't charge, so... Um, so let me show you some of the re reasons why I actually I bought this. It was it was $200. Um, but for me, because I, I need specific things for, for uh, IT work. Um, I mean, I don't, it does have a touch screen. I'm not going to be using a touch screen very much, but... I guess I liked it because it was a 13.3 inch screen. Um, I don't want a big laptop for my, my tool bag. And... Uh, yeah, I wanted something light and thin. I mean, I, I could have gotten a, like a Panasonic Toughbook, but those Panasonic Toughbooks are, man, they're thick and they're heavy. And uh, I wanted something light and thin. So the battery does stick out, so that kind of bothers me a little bit. But um, it has a USB port, uh, SD card, which is cool. Um, because actually sometimes I do actually have to transfer stuff. Like some of, the, some of these devices, like firewalls and routers or phone systems, they actually, they actually have SD cards built into them, so... Sometimes I can transfer like firmware updates or OS updates via SD cards. So that's nice to have that. So I, I thoroughly looked at a lot of different laptops with different specs, and um, I, I definitely wanted. Uh, I mean, this this seemed the best to match what I do. So um, it also has an onboard network card. So that's how I need that. I, I need to have a direct wire LAN. I can't just get away with uh, wireless. So I wanted a physical hard hard soldered network card. And the cool thing too is also um, it flips all the way up. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I mean it's pretty small and light. So and it did come. It came with uh, firing this up. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some upgrades to this thing just because I can't stand the current configuration. It's um, right now it has an internal hard drive. Um, you know, internal uh, old style hard drive, you know, with the moving heads and, and platters and stuff. So I'm going to probably be upgrading this to an SSD drive and more RAM. So the RAM thing is, I, I don't know for sure, but it, it's, I got mixed reviews on like how much RAM this thing can handle. Like right now there's 8 gig in there and I need to have 16. So I don't need to have 16, but I want 16 just because I want it to be fast. Alright, back again. Password. Take it away. Yeah, so I'm going to have to reinstall the OS just because I don't want to, uh, I thought that thing was already activated already, I guess it wasn't. Control panel, yeah, I, it's slow, I, the thing is, man, the old, old traditional platter hard drives, man, are slow. I mean, I need something that can boot up fast, um, lots of RAM. Because some of these Cisco programs I run, like the Cisco router configuration tools, and they're freaking Java-based, and they and they take up, they're so slow, you know. 
Alright, so, uh, actually I want to go to system. I thought this thing was activated. Because this thing should have, if it's not activated, okay, Windows is not activated. So what I want to do, I might have to go back to Windows 7, activate it, and then upgrade to Windows 10 so I can activate it. Because I want to basically activate this thing. So I don't, it's, it's hit or miss if this thing actually was activated. Because what happens is once a laptop is activated for Windows 10, it's, it's always uh, activated. So it uses the MAC address, the unique address, MAC address on, of your network card to send that information to um, Microsoft because, I mean, a MAC address is unique to every single device that's ever been made, you know, for networking. Um, so, so far so good. I mean, in another video I'll show you my uh, RAM upgrade and SSD drive, so. Yeah, okay, so this thing's never been activated for Windows 10. So, I'm going to have to do something about that. So, that's going to be another process. So, alright, so I'll have to get a Windows 7 key, key and then do an upgrade from there. And one of my computers right here should have Windows 7 Pro. So, it's going to be kind of a process because it's... Alright, the first install Windows 7. I mean, if I want to get a free copy of Windows 10, i got to install Windows 7, activate it, then upgrade to Windows 10, not, not just, I'm going to upgrade from 7 to 10, so that way it gets activated, the MAC address gets activated with Microsoft, and then I'm going to go back and do a fresh install of Windows 10 Pro, so it's fully activated, and I totally, the, one of the worst things you can do is upgrade from a previous version of Windows. It's always better to do a fresh install from scratch. Alright guys, so, alright guys, awesome, awesome.